Special places in nature deserve special protection. As human population grows, as competition for space increases, and as plants and animals are being displaced, it becomes important to know where these special areas are and to protect them. Increasing pressure on the ocean from human activities threatens marine life and those human uses of the ocean that depend upon rich, productive marine ecosystems. This can have huge economic consequences, particularly in a state like California, which has the nation's largest ocean economy. Ocean recreation and tourism, by far the most important components of it, depend upon clean, healthy, productive marine ecosystems. Special ocean places include those that are critically important to certain life stages of marine life, as feeding areas, spawning and nursery areas, areas rich in marine biodiversity and productivity, and areas where important cultural artifacts are found on the seafloor. Areas of the ocean that we set aside to receive special protection are called marine protected areas or simply MPAs. They are established by all levels of government, but the federal government and the states play the largest roles. A presidential executive order in 2000 required that our national system or network of marine protected areas be expanded for the benefit of present and future generations and enhanced based on strong scientific evidence to conserve the nation's natural and cultural marine heritage. MPAs aren't just for conservationists, they're for everyone. Properly designed and managed, MPAs protect the resources within them. And their benefits are not confined to the areas that receive special protection. Studies have shown that marine protected areas allow damaged areas to recover, rebuild and sustain fish stocks, and increase fish catches, not only within the protected areas, but in surrounding fishing grounds. Female fish within MPAs grow older and larger and have more offspring than those in unprotected areas. MPAs also can build resilience into marine ecosystems to provide an insurance policy against environmental disturbances such as global climate change, and El Niños and La Niñas. They can conserve marine biodiversity, preserve cultural artifacts and other sunken treasures, conserve natural areas to serve as baselines for education, research, and management. Marine protected areas provide different levels of protection. In California, non-consumptive uses such as diving, Surfing, swimming, and boating are generally allowed within all MPAs in state waters. In state marine reserves, all commercial and recreational activities that injure, damage, or take living, geological, or cultural marine resources are prohibited. In state marine parks, commercial activities that injure, damage, or take marine resources are prohibited and some recreational activities may be prohibited. In state marine conservation areas, some recreational and or commercial activities that injure, damage, or take marine resources are prohibited. California created its first MPA in 1909. Perhaps you've gone tide pooling at Point Furman birding at Bolsa Chica Ecological Reserve, fishing at Farnsworth Bank, or diving at Crystal Cove. If you have, you have visited one of Southern California's MPAs. California long has been a leader in efforts to protect its special ocean places. These efforts were reorganized and intensified in 1999 with passage of the Marine Life Protection Act. 
The Act requires all existing state MPAs to be re-evaluated and a statewide network of MPAs to be created. In 2004, funding was secured to implement the Act, and the Marine Life Protection Act initiative was created. This initiative guides implementation by using the best readily available science and the advice of stakeholders, public policy advisors, scientists, and the interested public through an inclusive and transparent public process. California's 1,100-mile coastline has been divided into five study regions. The North Coast, from the California-Oregon border to Alder Creek near Point Arena. The North Central Coast, from Alder Creek to Pigeon Point. The Central Coast, from Pigeon Point to Point Conception. The Southern California Coast, from Point Conception to the U.S.-Mexican border. And San Francisco Bay. <laughs>